Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Journey. I'm going to attempt to do two things at once here. While I'm making this video, I'm going to try to nibble on some breakfast. I'm, I'm doing breakfast with Van style, you know, as I've been doing. Got some eggs, some cornbread, thing of blueberries. Got my coffee, you know, wake me up, get me alert and all that good stuff. And of course, I got plenty of water to fight the heat down here already. I mean, it's only 8 o'clock in the morning at this particular moment. The humidity is extremely high. I mean, my, window, my windows are fogged up when I woke up. So it's like crazy humid out here. So but anyways, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Hope everybody's having a good beginning of the weekend so far. Uh, I just want to touch on how it's like to boondock here in the Florida Keys. Now, I got the, the other day, I got the Key West. I got there at night. And when I got the Key West, I sat around a little bit, played on my phone, talked, made a few phone calls. And then I proceeded to look for a place to rest. And almost everywhere I went within the, I mean, almost everywhere I went within the Key West city, there were big signs posted all over the place. No overnight staying, no overnight sleeping. I mean, I went to Walmart, I went to Winn-Dixie. And then I went on my phone, looked up a rest area. I went there and at first I got excited because I was like right by the ocean. I mean, it was the rest area was really on the beach. So I got excited for a moment cause I thought I was gonna get to sleep. And then when I wake up, there's the beach, there's the ocean. I can just grab me some breakfast and eat breakfast and eat breakfast on the beach. <clears throat> but then as i did further investigating i kind of looked around a little closer to make sure that everything was going to be good for me to sleep make sure i was going to be safe and all that fun stuff but then when i started looking a little harder i saw signs over there no overnight staying no parking from 10 at night to 6 in the morning so at that point i didn't know what to do so I did more research on places where I can go sleep in the Key West area. <clears throat> and I ran into Travel Advisory. And someone posted on Travel Advisory that in Key West, evidently in the Keys in general, especially in Key West, it's actually against the law to sleep in your vehicle so if you get caught sleeping in your vehicle, rather it be a government, rather you're parked in front or on a government owned property, or rather you're parked in a private business parking lot, like when this, like when Dixie and Kmart or any gas station, uh, the police officers in the area will come and wake you up. And I guess if they're in the right mood, they might even slap on some handcuffs and take you to jail and give you a fine for sleeping in your vehicle. So apparently in the Keys, it's illegal to sleep in your vehicle. You can get hauled off to jail and all that fun stuff. And then as I kept on reading that post, uh, this individual suggested that if you find an area in a residential area, like somewhere in the street, you're able to go there and sleep and not have any issues. Of course, provided that the person who lives in that home in front of that uh, street doesn't have any problem with you being there. Because if they got a problem with you being there, then they're gonna have problems still. So what I did was, <clears throat> I eventually found an area that wasn't a residential area and luckily, the area was nice and dark, so people couldn't really see me. 
and plus my van is dark is dark green so it kind of blends in a little bit with the greenery down here so there's like this big parking lot there's a huge park well, I, it's not really a parking lot but there's, there's like this big area that was gravel so I just pull up in there and I park kind of close to a bunch of trees so I wouldn't be super obvious and I set my alarm for 5 30 in the morning and then I made sure I was out by 6 in the morning when daylight began to break through that way people wouldn't catch what I was doing in the event that I decided to go there a second night and do the same thing which I didn't so that's how I was able to boondock in the Keys my first day there now I did have to drive <coughs> about 25 minutes or so outside of Key West into one of the smaller keys to to do what I did so and then on the second night that I was here in the keys last night I drove a little over an hour away from Key West because at this point I'm on my way back to Alabama so right now I am here in Marathon, Florida, and I'm here at the Kmart parking lot, and this is where I slept last night. Now, when I first came up, as I always do, I don't just pull up somewhere and just go right to sleep. I pull up, I observe, I look for signs, I look around and see what other people around me are doing. I see if there's other people that might be sleeping in their vehicle, and when I pull up here, I saw an RV and I saw a couple of tour buses and I saw a couple of police officers I guess they're doing their thing they're just uh, I guess they're doing surveillance I guess they're doing uh, vehicle patrol out here in the parking lot so what I did was I found an area that was kind of dark and secluded I pulled off in there and the police officer drove by my vehicle, I want to say about four times. And they drove by the RV that was on the other side of the lot about four times as well. So I got to thinking, well, okay, well, he didn't mess with me. And by now he knows I'm in my van. He, he knew the RV was there because he drove by a bike. And the RV had his headlights on, so he knew the RV was there. So it was around, I want to say... 11 o'clock or so at night and both uh, Kmart and Win Dixie which is right by Kmart they both closed down for the night so I decided to just go ahead and get my stuff set up right quick and I went to the back of the van and got my rest and I woke up just a little bit ago and got my breakfast together and went to the gas station which is right by this parking lot to grab me a, a cup of coffee I went into Win Dixie to grab me some cornbread. So, and also I had to go in there to use the bathroom. And I think it's pretty rude to go into a business and use their bathroom facilities and not buy anything. I mean, I, I mean, me personally, I think that's kind of rude and inconsiderate because those workers work hard, and at some point they gotta they're responsible for keeping the restrooms clean. I mean, I've been in businesses where they tell you straight up they have no public restroom facilities. So any place I go that has a public restroom facility, if they're nice enough to have a facility to where people like me who live out of their vehicle can go use the bathroom, then I'm going to do what I feel is courteous and respectful and just good manners and buy something from their store to keep their business afloat the best I can. So anyways, so here in Marathon, Florida, when I pull up into this parking lot, I didn't see any signs, no overnight stain. I saw none of that. So once the police officers got done doing their thing and they never bothered me not one time, I decided to just go ahead, get myself set up and go and go to sleep. And I got a good 
seven and a half hours of rest. So I'm feeling pretty, um, my energy is pretty good right now. <clears throat> no one bothers me. No one knock. I never got that knock on the door. I never got that flashlight shining into my windows or any of that kind of stuff. So apparently here in Marathon, Florida, if you pick the right area, and I guess if you don't do anything obvious and stupid that would bring attention to yourself, nobody's going to care that you come here and you camp out in your van like I did last night. So this is just a little FYI video for those of you that want to take a trip down here to the Keys and to save yourself a ton of money rather than renting a hotel you might want to boondock so for those of you that are living in the van life or you're living in your rv and you're wanting to come down here to the keys and enjoy the keys and then at night boondock somewhere i mean in my humble opinion the best and the safest place to boondock that i've seen so far here in the keys would be here in marathon florida <clears throat> in the kmart or Ren dixie parking lot and there's also a little area right by McDonald's which is right by Ren Dixie so I would say if you come into this big parking lot it's gonna probably be your best bet in terms of boondocking here in the Keys because in many other places in the Keys is either a there's really no room for you to boondock um, for you to boondock or two it's illegal and you can get in trouble so I don't like taking chances that I feel are unnecessary to take. So I took key to the post that was on Travel Advisor and I just, you know, the first night I just found like a little place on a residential area and I just laid low and slept the first night. And then uh, last night I just came here to the Walmart in Dixie. You know, I did my little research. I looked around and make sure that there are no signs posted that indicated that overnight sleeping was not allowed. I mean, I mean, I made sure that everything was safe and sound to the best of my ability. So I'm gonna jump off this video. Hopefully this video will help you people out for those that wanna come down here to the Keys. And by the way, I do got other videos that I didn't make about some of the places I went to in the Keys. I will be posting those videos up on a later date. So keep watching, stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you can continue to see the, the, the new content that I create on a regular basis. So everybody have a blessed one, and happy travels, be safe, all that fun stuff.